no website is really complete without adding a proper contact form, a way for your visitors, your customers, to be able to get a hold of the person that they need to get a hold of. So then they get their more info, they can start giving you money, I don't know what it would be for, but whatever it is, we wanna be able to add it to our site now. So we're gonna use Expression Engine's native contact form that comes in the email module in order to add this to our site. So let's build. So before we build out a contact form, we need to make sure that Expression Engine is set up to send our emails properly. So they have a couple ways to do this. Again, we're in the docs here looking at outgoing mail. There's a full list of settings here, but for our purposes, we're gonna actually take a look at our outgoing mail settings. Uh, you can see I just saved that. So I highly recommend uh, making sure that you add something outside of PHP mail or send mail just because you want to make sure that your emails are getting delivered there's always trust issues from uh, email providers for those things so for our purposes I'm using an SMTP service called MailTrap it's a great way to test email you can kind of send things their way and just dump it in a test email box that looks like this and here we go so I'm going to there we go, ah, 2525. Two, five. So I have all my credentials in here. I remove my username temporarily uh, and uh, change some of the settings here. Uh, great thing to know, great little tip. If you're setting up your email and things are, are uh, failing on the sending out, uh, change this email new line character from slash n to slash r slash n. Really easy thing to do. And so once you've got it to the point where you're able to say, okay, I've got my settings in there, how do I test it without doing my contact form? You can actually come over here to Developer, Utilities, and that will uh, land you in the Communicate tool. It's a really easy way just to say, we're sending, whoops, I can't even spell, sending a test email with a test body. We're gonna send it from my email. I'm just gonna include myself as a primary recipient. You can actually try and test it from a mem uh, member role. You can actually use this across the site to, um, uh, you know, to send a communication to members, that kind of thing. But for our purposes, we're just gonna use it to test. So we've got our email. I click send email. All right. And let's actually check mail trap. And there we go, there's our email. So we can see that we've got our email settings set up. So always important to make sure you test that uh, before you get your form up and working. And we'll include uh, links to the documentation for you. So now that we have our email settings set up, let's actually set up our contact form uh, template and our contact form code. So taking a look at the Expression Engine contact form through the docs, we can see that it has a number of parameters that come with it. Uh, but let's walk through this step by step. So the very first thing that we see is we have to install the email module. So this is an add-on that comes with Expression Engine um, that doesn't come installed by default, so we need to make sure that we enable it. So we go to our back end, we'll head to add-ons, and we can see all of the built-in add-ons that it comes with. We're gonna choose email and install. Perfect. All right, and then at a later point, we'll take a look at some of uh, some of these other add-ons as well as probably build our own, but that'll be in another video. All right, so let's take a look back at the email contact form. So all we're really looking to do is use these opening and closing tags here uh, and then with some defined parameters. So if we take a look at the example, they have uh, the opening tag, exp colon email colon contact form. And the parameters they're setting up is user recipients, uh, equals no. That would, if we set that to yes, then the user would have the opportunity to set who the contact form gets sent to, uh, just by using an input titled to. Uh, but we're going to set that to no. We're going to add our recipients and our char set. We also want to make sure that our form matches the styling here. So we're going to keep a close eye on that form class parameter. So let's take a look at our template. I went ahead and created this initial template and that is in contact.group slash index. And very basic, uh, but we're gonna use the contact form partial I created. So let's open that up. 
And here is our actual form. Right now, just straight HTML, uh, nothing fancy. What we're going to do is add the opening and closing tags for the Expression Engine contact form, and then we'll test this out. So, uh, but just to show you, the inputs do have to be named a certain way. So we've named uh, the name, name here. Email needs to be named from. That's the from email of the person who's submitting the form. Uh, I'll skip phone for a second. I'll show you why. And message. This is the message that the person's actually sending. Now you'll notice the, the phone has this name of required with uh, square brackets there. The required field is specifically used for any data you want coming through the contact form that, that isn't in the uh, required fields uh, through Expression Engine. So we're going to use that for our phone field. And now let's go ahead and add our tags here. So I'm just actually going to copy this straight from the documentation. And we're going to put that there. We want to make sure that we keep that user recipients equals no. We're going to set the recipients to Doug at triple nerdscore.net. We're going to add a char set. And we also want to use the form class parameter. So let's copy that. And we'll grab all the forms that exist on the opening tag. Great. And now let's add the closing tag at the end to replace the native closing tag. All right. So it looks like we're all set. Let's take a look at our contact form. All right, still there. <laughs> Doesn't look like a lot has changed and that's okay. What we're gonna do is let's inspect it real quick and see what magic is happening behind the scenes. All right, so if we go up here to the form uh, opening tag, we'll notice that Expression Engine gave it an ID it automatically set the post action, and then it added this uh, div full with all these hidden fields, which takes care of all of the um, security measures that Expression Engine takes, as well as making sure that all of the parameters we set are set in the, uh, in the call. So now let's take a look at our form, and I'll just add in some dummy information. We hit submit, and there we go. So as you're building out forms in Expression Engine, besides some of the native routes, there are also a number of add-ons that can handle forms for you, such as Form Grab or Freeform. I encourage you to explore the space, but don't be afraid to take a look at what Expression Engine natively offers in this regard. And uh, happy developing. We'll see you in the next one.